The fact that there can be a top 10 list for this is still mind boggling to me, but I guess we shouldn't really be surprised because celebrities get caught in cheating scandals all the time. But when they get caught cheating with their nanny, it hits closer to home quite literally. I'm your host for this one, Joss Bedard. Thanks for checking out Top 10 Beyond the Screen. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video and also subscribe so you don't miss our next one because they are all as juicy as this one. Starting off our list number 10 is Jude Law. His affair was one of the biggest ones in Hollywood history because of how heavily documented it was. Honestly, it was all the media was talking about at one point in time. He got engaged to Sienna Miller back in 2004 and they honestly seemed like a match made in heaven. But it wasn't long before a cheating scandal surfaced in 2006 and revealed that Jude had been cheating with their nanny. It was the nanny, Daisy Wright, who came out and shared the details of their little entanglement. Jude did not deny it to the press. He actually came clean about the affair and released a public apology to Sienna, saying that he is ashamed and deeply regrets it. Sienna broke off the relationship immediately, but then they tried to rekindle it. It wasn't actually until 2011 that they officially called it quits. Bless her heart for trying to still make it right after that. In spot number nine, we have Ben Affleck. Now this one is still up for debate and it always has been. So it will just depend on whose side of the story you actually believe. I will leave that up to you. The actor was once married to Jennifer Garner and rumors started spreading rapidly that he had cheated on her with their nanny, Christine. Sources claim that they spotted him with the nanny after his split with Jennifer and that it was revealed that they had been having inappropriate meetings while they were actually together. At the time, Ben refused refused to comment on the claims, but his rep did. His rep called the allegations complete garbage. As for the nanny, she was legally not allowed to speak on her relationship with Ben and Jennifer, but neither of them continued to use her as a nanny even after they went their separate ways. Cruising into number eight is Gavin Rossdale. It was an unhappy ending for his marriage with Gwen Stefani. The two of them were married for 13 years before it ended because of adultery. Turns out Gavin was cheating on Gwen right under her nose for three years with the family's long-term nanny, Mindy Mann. She was their nanny for a very long time and took care of their three sons. Gwen actually uncovered the affair it was happening through explicit texts between the two of them, including nude photos of Mindy and plans to meet up for a hookup. She didn't actually find the messages by snooping through his phone. Another nanny discovered them through the family iPad, which was linked to Gavin's phone. And then she told Gwen. Mindy was immediately fired, obviously. And even though Gavin initially said it was all just flirting and that an affair never actually happened, it wasn't until months later that he fully admitted it and Gwen ended the marriage, rightfully so. Up next, number seven, we have Arnold Schwarzenegger. Another nanny cheating scandal affair that flooded media out and was very heavily documented because the story was so shocking. It's still shocking. The world was in complete shock when finding out that he had a secret son no one knew about for 20 years. He was married to Maria Shriver at the time of the affair and had four children together. He had an affair in 1996 with their nanny, Mildred Baina. It allegedly happened while the family was on vacation and then he stayed behind to shoot a movie. Once Mildred got pregnant and had her son, Arnold thought it belonged to her husband until he got older and realized that the son started to look a lot like he did. Once he confirmed that he was the father, he began to financially support him. And once Maria found out, she ended the marriage. Arnold says that he has spent a lot of time with his son, Joseph, over the years and that they have been getting closer, even working out together. Coming up next at number six is Stephen Belafonte. This one is a lot to unravel. I was actually reading through all the articles on this and my God, it was the messiest divorce like in history. No joke. Steven and his ex-wife, Mel B, the former Spice Girl, hired a nanny named Lorraine Gills, who was in her 20s throughout their working relationship. But Mel B started to claim that Steven was having an affair with Lorraine, and that is when things just got very messy. Steven and Lorraine then came forward and said that the three of them were in a sexual relationship together and that no affair was ever going on. But then Mel went as far as claiming that her husband actually got Lorraine pregnant during the affair and then paid her $250 
$140,000 to have an abortion. They were all in this massive legal battle for years and Lorraine actually sued Mel B for defamation based on these claims. Mel ended up having to pay her $1.8 million and Stephen and Lorraine still remain friends to this day. That is a messy situation. Halfway through our list at number five is Ethan Hawke. Back in 2003, reports revealed that Ethan and Uma Thurman were ending their marriage and that their nanny, Ryan Shaw Hughes, was the reason for it. At the time, Ethan heavily denied it, but then he went on to date Ryan and then later marry her in 2008. And yes, they are still together to this day, so I will save you the time from going and Googling it. This might be the one time that they actually went on to be with the nanny forever. But Ethan has always stuck to his guns saying that they did not fall in love with each other until after he ended things with Uma Thurman. He defended himself and said, I know a lot of people imagine some kind of sound of music type love affair, but the truth is by the time Ryan and I were falling in love, it had been a long while since I had employed her. I don't buy it, but hey, maybe you do. Who really knows the truth? Let me know in the comments uh, if you believe it or not. <laughs> Rolling into spot number four, we have The Dream. 2010 was a crazy year for him and his wife, Christina Milan. He filed for divorce in February, which came as a total shock to Christina as she was just nine days away from giving birth to their daughter. What a gentleman. She asked the court to throw out the divorce papers though, claiming that he was lying about the status of their relationship and also said that he had cheated on her. Turns out she wasn't wrong about the whole cheating claims. Photos leaked and showed the dream cheating on her with his own personal assistant, Melissa Marie. Images showed them frolicking and just getting real touchy with each other in the Caribbean. When Christina was asked about the cheating scandal, she said, I didn't know anything, but looking back, my gut was telling me something was off, but I thought I could fix it. Good news is she went on to be a great mother and said motherhood has made her feel sexier than she ever has before. You go, girl. Coming in hot at number three, we have Mick Jagger. This one has been a big debate ever since the news broke because the cheating allegations came straight from the nanny. Some people believed her story while others just thought that she had different motives. So let me know what you guys think. Back in 2002, nanny Claire Houseman alleged she had a sexual relationship with Mick Jagger. She spoke with the Daily Mirror at the time and went into details about the time that they hooked up, claiming that it happened in the kitchen, which was just 30 feet away from the bedroom that he stayed in with his wife, Jerry Hall. She even went as far as saying that she had Mick in the morning and then he had his afternoon delight in the afternoon with his wife on the same day. Not a good look for Mick, obviously, that's for sure, and not her either. But Claire was firm on the fact that she had no regrets to this hookup, but admitted that she did feel bad for Jerry at the time. How kind of you to feel bad for me, even though you're banging my husband. Thanks so much. Rolling into the number two spot, we have John Gosselin. You would probably know him better as John from John and Kate Plus Eight, the family with eight children who got their own reality show and won the hearts of millions of people. It was a fun show. It was kind of weird. But their family life got complicated back in 2009 when a babysitter named Stephanie Santos Toro opened up to the tabloids about her alleged affair with John. We aren't talking about him cheating on Kate though. This was at the time that he was with his girlfriend, Haley Glassman. He swore that he never cheated and that he was always very faithful to Haley, but Stephanie begged to differ. She claimed that he cheated on multiple occasions and that it all started when he invited her to his place to hang out in the hot tub one night. Haley and John eventually broke up and his mom even admitted to the press that he did not see Haley as the person he wanted wanted to spend the rest of his life with. So that kind of added to the cheating rumors. Winning our number one spot is Bill Clinton. I mean, there's really no way that this one would cause a ton of controversy. Former president Bill Clinton was caught in a massive sex scandal that led to his impeachment in 1998. He had an affair on his wife, Hillary Clinton, with a White House intern. He spoke about it all these years later in 2020 when he did an interview for Hillary, the documentary series. He actually took full responsibility in the documentary and said, nobody sits down and thinks, I think I'll take a really irresponsible risk. It's bad for my family, bad for my country, bad for the people who work with me. He also went on to explain that the affair was something he used to manage his anxieties, which obviously had people on Twitter just losing their minds. As for Hillary, she did remain by his side through the affair. And even though they are still together to this day, she said it was a very devastating time for her. All right, guys. Well, that is our nanny cheating list. <laughs> oh boy, I am going to get out of here, but before I do, I'm gonna do some comment shout outs. MLD says, anything with Joss automatically gets a thumbs up. 
That is what I like to hear. Thank you so much. Leave a thumbs up if you haven't already. Jabbar Muhammad says, I guess some people aren't meant for live TV. No, a lot of people aren't meant for live TV. I would not be meant for live TV. That's for sure. We have so many bloopers in these videos. <laughs> Don't make me do this live. Mel Choir Hergermic says, Joss, sassy, but classy. Yes, but always more sassy than classy. I'm really not sure how classy I am. I don't know if I'm like mature enough to be classy. Bum Shagger says, why was Martin Lawrence talking about periods? That's my only question. Uh, I have many questions. I don't know what was going on in that monologue of his. I don't get it. That type of humor, I'm, I just don't get it. All right, guys, that is all I got. I'm getting out of here. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, do all the things. I was your host, Joss. I will see you next time. Bye. You know, you put your hair in a ponytail because it's such a mess, and then it's still a mess. What's the point? Why have hair? I mean, no, I love my hair.